If you woke up this morning, then your day started off amazing and great. And that's where it's everything I love. Like if you woke up this morning, realize that your day started off beautiful. Because why? You woke up. Okay? So on that note, what's going on? What's up, YouTube? What's up, divas? What's up, Debos? What's up, everybody? What's up, YouTube hoes? What's up, YouTube trolls? What's up, YouTube fan? What's up? What's up? What the F is up? Like, okay, listen, what the F is up? I'm, you know, listen, what the F is up? I'm trying to say, I'm, I'm really not trying. No, I'm just trying to be nice. I mean, no, no, no. Um, I'm trying something new out, okay? Like, for real. Like, I'm trying not to curse so much because from what I've been told last week in my real talk, a bitch cuss too much. I should just like lessen the cuss words. I don't know. And on top of that, stop pulling my ponytail. My bun's so tight because my hairline is falling out the front. First of all, I don't even pull my bun tight. My hair is not going to allow me to pull it too tight, okay? Because my hair, my pain threshold, like, I don't like a tight-ass bun. I don't like a tight-ass ponytail. Them bumps on the side of your head hurt. But besides that, I get a fucking headache. So, my, it's funny how people on the internet that be watching you real think that they know every fucking thing. Like, straight up. I did say I was going to try something new and not curse so much. But fuck it. I've already messed it up, so I'm just going to continue on. But, like, like I was saying, like, people on the internet they swear like they know so much they never met you in real life in reality they've never even ran into you at fucking sam's clubs walmart or the mall they've never ran into you okay they don't even have a really good photo of you let alone they think that they know every goddamn thing about you from when you get your period to when your firstborn was born to when your grandson goes to kindergarten they just think that they know every fucking thing so it amazes me it behooves a bitch when somebody will tell me that my motherfucking ponytail bun is too goddamn tight like bitch can you feel the pain through the goddamn screen anyway and on top of that i cuss too much but look this real talk so on some real talk shit bitch if you don't like it you don't have to fucking watch but don't leave no dumb ass comments that whole video last week i did say i hate when people do dumb shit don't try to get up under my skin why do people do dumb shit it's about to be 2022 don't do dumb shit then i also did say i'm gonna go back to being the old april and the the new april because i'm saying if y'all doing dumb shit i'm gonna just do it too and here i am doing dumb shit with you like serious like I did say that last week. I think I spent like five minutes explaining the reason of why I don't like dumb shit. And you came for me. You was like mad aggressive with that old ass profile picture that you got that you've been using for the past 10 years. Think I don't know. You've been my subscriber for how long? Don't come on here coming at me, people, please, because I hate dumb shit. For real. And if y'all wondering why I got this goddamn baseball cap on, well, I got the mark of the beast on my forehead. Like, yes, the mark of the beast. And when I say the beast, I don't mean evil. That Well, the shit is evil. It, it treated me bad on Saturday. In one split second, 1.5 seconds, bitch got burnt, okay? It didn't even hardly touch my goddamn skin. And it took a piece of it with it. Like, oh my God, do y'all see that? I don't know when it's going to heal. I mean, I know when it's going to heal. I've been putting Neosporin cream on it. But what I mean is, when the fuck is it going to go away? Okay? I'm not going to put makeup on it because, like, I, I just don't want to do that. But, yeah, that is the mark of the beast right there on my forehead. Right dead smack in the middle, okay? Y'all know I was doing a wig tutorial and got burnt. Got burnt the shit out of. And then let me tell you, like, one video later, I still was doing them. And so I decided to spray a little bit of some got to be. Is was got to be? Bedhead hairspray on my little closure piece. You know, I was just trying to adhere just a tad bit. I wasn't going crazy. I wasn't even nowhere in the middle. Girl, it was over here, right here. Please tell me why. Please tell me why and how that fucking got all the way somehow here. Spritzed right, spritzed. Not sprayed, but spritzed right into the damn 
open hot curler burn wound girl i was on a camera i think i tried so hard and i succeeded at not screaming and crying on camera but that shit burnt like hell okay so now i got the mark of the beast on my goddamn forehead and i'm like walking around like yo i don't care i don't care i don't care like i really don't care like you know what i'm saying because it will go away <sighs> when i don't know i don't even know how it happened when i tell y'all it was like 1.5 seconds like as soon as i felt the shit i pulled it up like it just was like a, a quick dab you know what i'm saying it was just it hit like i was like it, and it was so quick like it hit it tapped and when it tapped yo that that all you see was my skin peeling back i was like oh shit and ever since then i've been sad like, serious. Like, look at me. I got two cornrows in my hair. Like, I'm about to do a video tutorial, and I'm not. I just left my hair like this since Saturday. I mean, you know, I braid it over every morning. But, girl, I've been going to the gym, so I just figured I'll just leave it like this in a cornrow. It kind of reminds me of my mom, you know what I'm saying? When she was um, younger, she would always wear her hair like this in cornrows. Just two cornrows, because that's the only style she knew how to do. But, yeah. And it's, it's definitely not because my bun is too motherfucking tight. I just thought it looked cute. But, yeah dead smack in the middle it could if it was like right here it would have been better but it's not even like right here or like up a little bit to where i could have like blended it in with something like i don't know it's like right here like a whole new big huge freckle and shit ridiculous like who burns their self in the forehead at the age of 47 <laughs> for real like oh my god okay other than that i hope you guys will have all having like an amazing week i had like some adventures like for the past week and a half week and a half me and nay we went to four different rainbow shops out here in the west side well arizona girl okay bitch arizona we went to four of them the first um one was at az mills mall which is okay it's just a little bit cluttered you know what i'm saying and i really don't think like the plus size section has too much going on you know what i'm saying like i really don't think that it has so much going on in the plus size section so um I mean, I, got, I did get something really cute, and I'll show you guys, but um, we do have some really cute clothes, but you know what I'm saying? Like, so we went to four different ones, and they all had their own attitude. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they all had their own personality every last every last one, honey, okay? Every last one. From the hood to the ratchet hoes to the ones that I was almost have to yoke up in the fucking store because they doing dumb shit, okay? Listen, let me tell you, like I said, we went to four different ones, and one of them in particular, it was on Bethany School Road or Bethany Road, whatever the fuck it's called. These little two bitches gonna come up in there, our own people. Now, they smell really bad, like cigarettes like they they had smelled like they were swimming in the cigarettes and maybe some type of other drug the girl's synthetic wig looked like it just wanted to jump off and say please just put me out of my misery okay and she was asking my daughter nay her opinion on an outfit that i thought she was buying for somebody else because that bitch should have been on the plus size she was over there on that bitch swiped to the left when she should have swiped her fucking ass to the right but if you think the outfit's gonna fit you, girl, go for it. If you like it, I love it. So she asked Nay an opinion, and Nay asked me the opinion about the outfit, and I just said, oh, yeah, it's cute, because, listen, just because I don't think it's cute don't mean you don't. Who am I to say? So her friend she was with, she um she said something, you know, and then she on FaceTime with her brother, the girl. This fucking bony-ass black bitch had my daughter Nay on the FaceTime phone talking about, yeah, ain't she cute? She real cute. Look at her. And Nay didn't even notice. I'm like, oh, you talking about my daughter? She was like, Ugh. I said, yeah, I suggest you put that phone away right now. Yo, I was about to yoke that bitch the fuck up at the goddamn rainbow shops. That bitch would have been walking out with black and blues. Fuck a rainbow. That bitch would not have been in a happy place when I finished with her. So, the rainbow shops, they got their own attitude in all different types of neighborhood. And that's one that I didn't really like. Like, they had a nice little selection of plus-size clothing in there. Yeah, it was kind of small. And it was kind of tight, but not too tight. Because I seen one at my mother's house in New York City in Queens. Honey, that shit is so tight. It don't even look like nothing should be in there. It don't have... You don't even look like you can breathe in that motherfucker. It's so tight. But... 
that one with a little ratchet hoe was at, I just noticed like there was some weirdos. Like the old man was riding by on some bike. He looked like he had just stolen because he was riding by. The nigga looked like he was like 80. Talking about, yippee Kai, yay! Like shit, you know what I'm saying? So then when I got these two little young ass hoes come up in there, it's like to be expected. But like, yo, your crazy ain't my type of crazy. And like, bitch, you really gonna put my daughter on your phone trying to show her off to your brother? If your brother look anything like your raggedy ass, why the fuck would she be interested? Yo, these bitches be crazy out here and I really don't want to go to jail for one of them. Each one of them had like their own selection of stuff like some would have something that the other one didn't. Finally I found the nicest one which was in Levine. Okay honey in Levine. Nice, a nice atmosphere nice and big and spacious and nice and roomy but filled. Okay you know what I'm saying? Why did I get addicted to Rainbow Shop? Like, they have some really cute stuff. I'm just going to use 10 as an example. Out of 10 plus size clothing items that they have, I would say I probably would like only 2 out of the 10. And I say this only because some of their stuff is a little bit too much. I don't like for her to see all that melanin shit all over the shirt. Like, I know we know this, but... We know we have melanin. We know this, but I don't want it all over my shirt. Like, it just depends on what you like. And, like, some of the things I'm just not, like, a huge fan of in, in Rainbow, and some of them I do. And the $3 racks, girl, the $3 racks, honey, you could get busy up in there with the $3 racks. Even the $5 racks. Like, I got some really nice stuff, um, and I did put it all together in, like, a try-on. Um, some things I didn't even include because it was, like, well... This was on a $3 rack. You might not even be able to find it at your Rainbow. I do like the website because they do list things every single day for each size. And they do have some really nice, affordable, plus-size clothing. And from what I was reading in, like, comments in other videos for Rainbow, it does say that Fashion Nova and Rainbow have the same supplier or vendor. Either way, um, Fashion Nova's clothing quality is kind of, like, on the same scale as Rainbow to me. Okay? But more pricier. But yeah, so I, I do like them. Um, it just depends on where they at in the hood, honey. Because you don't want to be going in in a happy place. Because you know Rainbow is supposed to be happy. You walk up in Rainbow shops and then leave out. You know, you in black, black and blue cups. Okay? Black and blue cups. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I never, to be honest with you guys, I never knew that men, men can run their mouths just like a woman. Like... Really? Like, when I say run their mouths just like a woman, I mean gossip, talk shit about, and run their mouth like a female. And in terms, you are like a bitch. I really didn't even want to go here, but <sighs> when you guys, like, depart in a relationship... Whether it be with your husband, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever. When you guys depart in a relationship, do you continue, do you, do you like talk shit about the other person? Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure you will say some things, but as a man, I didn't know that like men will really like run their mouths like bitches and talk about their exes like that. Like on some real shit, like you talk about me, what the fuck is going on? Like what type of shit is that? Like, I'm just trying to figure like men out in general because like that's why i just like yeah i'm just cool with the single life but i'm just trying to like figure them out I thought men were supposed to be masculine you know what i'm saying but instead they just be they be running their mouths like they got a day period and i'm trying to figure out why why sometimes i be feeling like i'm living in like the matrix is this a dream is this really going on? Are you really talking about me and talking about me? Do you not think that I'm going to be um, aware of it? M made aware of it? They're worse than a woman at times. I've, I've seen this. And they might not have temper tant tantrums or rants or, you know, but they, they are on the the Richter scale of acting very bitchy. Like, they act like little girls. When did this all come about? Like, I don't ever recall my mother ever talking to her family members, her cousins, her lady friends about men running their mouths like 
my mom let it be she never even had a conversation with me about that like you know we sit and talk about things and we'll talk about men too but we've never encountered a convo about men running their mouths worse than females and i don't know if it's like this new thing like they like to do that like does that make them feel more masculine as to downgrade a woman to another person regardless of who that person is so on that note let's get into this real talk and if you got a real talk girl that you would like for me to talk about go on and send me an email to muffin is my lovers 2012 at gmail.com put in the subject line real talk so that way i know it's a real talk subject and if you don't change the names of the people you're talking about in that particular email, and I probably will do it for you 99.9% .9 of the time I will. So let's just get into this real talk, okay? So oh, my girl, um, she sent this to me at both my emails. You know what I mean? She was making sure that I was going to get this email one way or the other. I'm not really sure she wants to be known. Um, it's not even about anyone in particular or herself. So, you know, I thought it was very interesting what she had to say. And it kind of like went with what I was talking about, but not so kind of maybe in that same, you know, family. But let's just get into it. Hey, April, I always watch your videos. It's so nice to see you still strong, cheerful and holding up well after going through so much. I went through some things too, and I'm just recovering from them a few months ago. I wanted to know if you will please do a real talk on today's dating attitudes among men. Like for instance, notice the way a lot of men on YouTube seem to promote testing women and judging and degrading them while dating them. Please look at alpha male strategies on YouTube. Also, they speak about the woman being average and how guys like dating mean girls and not the ones who are nice and not the ones who are older and of a certain age. What are your thoughts on that type of thing? I personally hate to see these things being so promoted in social media, especially for the younger women and men who will view it. I also think that those men play so many mind games and they wish to place too much on women who are looking to date. That's why I'm not interested in it anymore. And I view it all as a trick because I bet that if the woman that these men speak about was to even follow what those men say, they want the men still wouldn't marry them, the woman, nor be faithful to her. So why should the woman even jump through hurdles? What are your thoughts about this? And will you please do a real talk on this? You know nobody does it like you with your cheerful voiceovers the way you do. You always make me and many others laugh. Keep up the good work and may you and your family stay safe. So she has a good point. She she really has like a really good point um, about the dating scene. You know, I'm not old, but I'm not like no spring chicken. Like I'm not in my twenties, you know what I'm saying? But I have noticed like some weird changes in men. And to me, I find it to be weird because back in my day, Y'all would have, men would have never tried this. And of course, there isn't so much, there wasn't so much technology then either. But still, all in all, even just to go, the way you go about it, just things, you know what I'm saying, is like very, some shit is disrespectful. So, she talking about the dating scene, like, you know what I'm saying, the dating scene, how men degrade women, and just in general, the dating scene. Let me tell y'all about, I think it was about, I want to say like three weeks ago, this was... It had to be like three weeks ago. I I went to the gym, and after the gym, I went to the car wash. It had to be like about three weeks ago. And I was driving my truck at the time, and I had gotten it back from my son, but it was dirty inside, and it just was dusty from just sitting. So I said, let me take it to the car wash and clean the inside out. It took me about two hours. Now, we in like a hub, like, you know what I'm saying? So as I'm cleaning the truck, there's a young man on the side of me. Now, he is on my right side, you know what I'm saying? Because we facing in. And he, I'm not really sure if he was like a, a Mexican descendant or like a Caribbean, Indian, or whatever. But he was younger than me. You, you know he was younger than me. You can just tell. So I, um, 
I'm cleaning my truck and I'm minding my motherfucking business, okay? Because that's what I do. And we had had to been there already for at least an hour. So now I'm on the passenger side and he's on the driver's side. So this is where we meet. So he smiled, smiled back too. And then he said something about my back tire. Like, I know the shit need a new tire for that one. It wasn't bad, but the tread was a little bit thin versus the ones in the front because I, I didn't fix the very last one. He told me that his family has tires used and brand new. And I was like, oh, really? Because it's, you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of places out here. So we exchanged numbers, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, like, you going to give me a tire. He was like, I, you know, I'll hook you up with a tire. And I was like, yeah, how much are they? He was like, don't worry, I got you. And I'm like, well, I don't know what the fuck I got you means in his world. But in my world, when they tell, when someone tells you that they got you, that means they got you. You ain't got to worry about nothing. You, they just going to get gift you, I guess. Whatever. About 20 minutes later, I get a message through my WhatsApp. Now, I don't even use the WhatsApp. I only use it to, you know, interact with, you know, China. Vendors in China. This motherfucker telling me, it was really nice meeting you. Your smile. You beautiful. All of this, this shit. I'm like, well, hold the fuck up. I just want to tie you. I don't know where the fuck you're going with this. We're going back and forth with one another. And I was like, listen, what's up? Because why do you keep texting me, okay? Do you want to sell me the tire or not? He's like, I want to have fun with you. And I'm like, excuse me, what? This motherfucker thought he was going to smash, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, that's, that's what it is. That's where it came from. I was just like so appalled and disgusted. Like, are you serious? Is that what the fuck I look like? Some desperate older woman to you to where I want to smash? Who the fuck does that? Who says things like that? And I could totally understand where she's coming from with that. Like, back in the day, I don't, they wouldn't have went about it like that. God, you didn't even fucking bring us some flowers. You you just was like, you want to have fun. And you know what I had to tell this motherfucker? I was like, the the, the type of fun you have and me and I have is, is definitely not on the same level. Because my idea of having fun is making money and relaxing with my family. And I don't remember me and you being related in no type of way. Yes, the fuck I did, okay? Did he write back, please just give me a chance? That's when I blocked his ass. Because I couldn't believe the audacity like some of these motherfuckers don't have no respect no coop okay and it all boils down to this some women don't mind that shit so they feel like if they can say that to some other random woman and she fall for it and go for it then the rest of us motherfuckers think that it's okay and cool let me tell you something sweetheart and the rest of you females now y'all see what the fuck i be talking about when i'm like i'm cool being single and i like my single life because men can be disrespectful and that shit could be tiring. Some people be like, oh no, it's only a certain race. No, bitch, it's every fucking race. It doesn't matter. This shit been going on for years and it just seems like it's getting worse. But you know what? It might be just getting worse, but also they just be a little bit more ballsy and bold about it. And plus there's more technology like the internet and social media. So it's put out there. It'd be a damn shame to see men act like this, like so thirsty and desperate, like, cause that's what I gather it to be. You being thirsty and desperate when you think you're going to have fun with me. I'd rather be single girl than put up with the foolishness and the nonsense and the degradation. Okay. That's why I be seeing women going crazy. Some of them just be changing their whole entire self. Okay. They don't even be authentic no more. These bitches be like too fake. All right overly fake because she didn't change her whole identity when i say her whole identity the bitch got a new booty new titties new lips new eyes new hair new everything you don't even recognize the bitch it's like wow and then this, they, some of them do it for men like you know what i'm saying but then some people just do it because that's just what they want to do and i'm not knocking nobody that want to get plastic surgery because it's your body and you are entitled to do whatever the fuck you want to do with it but i just be thinking like sometimes like i be feeling bad for sometimes people because it's like don't do this for somebody else to get attention because that's what I be feeling like they doing it for. Why is your ass like so big like that? Like why? Like I don't, I'm not understanding why is your ass so big like that? Like don't you, that shit hurt. It doesn't even look good. How, where are you finding pants at? Why would you want to have a butt that's so big and you just, it just, why? Just why? Look like it hurts, okay? And what are you going to do with that big old rump shaker when you are like 70 and 80, like what you gonna do with it? Who gonna change your diaper? 
how you even gonna wipe your ass, Granny? Granny Gran, you know what I'm saying? I just be trying to figure stuff out like that. Like, I be thinking for the, the very far future sometimes. I think I be just too paranoid and shit at times. I, like, really, really do. Because I be just thinking, sometimes maybe I be thinking too far ahead. Like, why are you worried about that now, April? Just live your life. Live your best life. But, like, my best life right now need to make my life in the future my bestest motherfucking life, okay? I ain't trying to worry about no drooping ass big diaper booty when I'm like 70 something, 80 years old, bitch, okay? No. But, you know, I just be feeling like sometimes some women do it for the attention because, like, why would you want a butt so big like you can eat dinner off of it? Like, let's let's make it look cute, that's all. Make it look cute. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's what the fuck I'm saying, bitches. Just let's make it look cute. Yeah, men, they do get a little bit out of control with their mouth and shit. And I have noticed that. But they be having like these apps like Tender. Remember I told you I thought it was like chicken tenders. Like I thought the spelling was the same until my son, God bless his soul, Wuzzle told me after he stopped laughing of course that no ma it's not spelled like that and this is what it's for and I was like so wait I never forget our conversation so wait they have an app just for fucking and he was like basically like I was like what the fuck what has the world come to okay he goes on like no real dates everybody wants to online date like what fun is that like you just sit around waiting for a chime on your phone like who the fuck wants to be bothered like I just think like I don't know some men be losing it and some women do too and I just think like also like sometimes people just be so lonely and desperate that they'll just take whatever and then that transfers into a pattern of foolish nonsense foolish nonsense with like degrading women you know what I'm saying like who the fuck is gonna jump through a hula hoop and a hurdle for a man just so that they can like and approve of them let me tell you something I guess I'll be a lonely ass bitch before I jump through anybody's goddamn hurdles or hula hoops to be approved by any man nigga if you don't want to fuck with me no more and be with me toodaloo okay bitch bye okay it's like seriously y'all know how i do okay we know what time of the year it is it's almost been a whole year what's today's date sometime in november will make a whole motherfucking year did you really think that i i, I ain't never jumped through hurdles and hula hoops for no man especially when you do me dirty and on some sideways shit too but i would be damned if i'm going to allow one to degrade me and talk about me just so that I can be with him for his approval? Man, listen, I guess I'll be a lonely ass bitch. Yeah, it's real nice to be in a relationship and be with somebody, but listen, let's be honest. We gotta make sure that this person is for us. Not on no bullshit, not on no degradation shit, not on some, well, I want you to be like this way shit or no way shit at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like this. Everybody deserves respect, and that's what we are all entitled to. If you don't give me some respect, I'm not gonna give you respect. But if you want to be respected and be cherished and be loved and be cared for the right way, the honest way, you know what I'm saying, then you got to love yourself first. I keep saying this to people like, ain't no man going to love you more than you can, ain't nobody basically going to love you more than you can love yourself, okay? So why settle for bullshit? Why settle for the foolish and the nonsense? Now y'all see why I'm a single bitch and I really do like my life. Not giving y'all any type of dry hints to break up with your man because I could care less what the fuck any one of y'all do. Look, fun fact, don't care. I don't care. It might not be even a fun fact, but it's a motherfucking fact. I don't care. What I'm saying is this. I'm not a hard to please person. I'm not like a really picky person. I'm just a person who feels like this. She's been through a lot. She knows about a lot in life, okay, that she can relate to. She's went through way too much shit with men and her baby daddies, okay? Baby daddies, yes. To where I think April knows the deal about a man and his bullshit and a bullshit ass relationship to where if she feels like it's best for her to continue on living single okay then I'm pretty sure she's going to do as such women we have to do better we gotta love ourselves and we gotta make sure that we are okay okay because if we don't who's going to yeah you probably have a wonderful spouse at home but you still got to make sure that you okay um men speaking about women being average what does that mean women being average like um 
I, I feel like this. We are all equal. So maybe they use the word average as in the word equal because I don't give two fucks if you look alike Broomhilda and she look like Beyonce. Y'all both average bitches because we're equal. You ain't no better than me. What you might find ugly is what he might find goddamn drop dead gorgeous. And what you might find to be beautiful at all praise to the B, bitch, he might find like, girl, please go on and get, okay? I'm just saying. So average we are. We are all equal. We are all the same. We ain't no better than the next. We all might be in different shades and sizes, but however, we all are women and we, no one ain't better than the next. Straight up. Listen, men, women, y'all all kill me sometimes with y'all remarks and shit y'all gotta say and, and shit like that. Hey, everybody's entitled to the opinions. You know, sometimes it's so hard to pull away from things that you know that you'll settle for that shit. And I found myself like thinking of this person a little bit more than often. A little bit more, excuse me, a little bit more than I even should, which is not at all. I shouldn't even think about you. I had to remind myself of the nasty, mean things that were said about me over the past year, this past year, months, whatever, names, whatever. Mm -hmm. And once I started thinking about that and amongst other things, I realized you are better off by yourself. You are a strong individual. Just because you know that, I mean, you got to go back. I'm saying. And that's how I felt it. You know what I'm saying? Plus, there was some other shit that I heard from a certain individual that, wow, you wouldn't even think that I heard this from. But I heard it. Got proof, too. Technology is a great thing. You know, a little screenshot a couple of things. Send it to the person. You'd be like, what? Anyway, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to get out of y'all hair. The main thing is this. Be respectable to yourself as well as to others. Then there won't be no problem. And then maybe no people will do dumb shit. Alright? Well, also, if anybody got any type of advice on what I should put on the Mark of the Beast, leave your comments below. Okay? I love you all. I got to go. See y'all in the next video.